Hey everyone, it's Jeremy Hamilton with 5280 Angler with a first fishing report of 2022. It's uh, end of January. I'm out in Pueblo fishing the Arkansas River today just for a couple hours for myself. Uh, had to get out of the house and, and, uh, and enjoy the sunshine. It just snowed yesterday and, and uh, got a beautiful day today. So uh, I'll start with Pueblo. Um, it's actually been fishing really good. It's it's uh, one of our go-to winter fisheries uh, because it's usually so warm down here, uh, and, and it's you know plenty of sunshine as you can see behind me. Nice, nice blue skies, warm days, uh, getting lots of midge hatches. Although today I'm not seeing any surface activity, but uh, but uh, from time to time we're seeing some some uh, dry fly action. Uh, I've been using my go-to midge is a, a size 20 or 22 mats midge in black. Uh, or, uh, and I'll usually run a tandem rig, I'll do a, uh, a little 20 or 22 parachute atoms as well. So that, that's typically my go-to uh, dry fly rig when I do see some surface activity, which uh, today, yeah, seeing, seeing bugs, lots of bugs flying around, but, but nothing on top. But uh, subsurface though, I, I've done okay today. Um, uh, jujubatus, perp I like to use purple and olive, uh, size 20, 22 jujubatus. Uh, you can you can also use pheasant tails or uh, uh, stalkups betas, uh, two bit hookers, pretty much any any kind of betas. Uh, you know, blue winged olive type mayfly uh, type fly. Um, I can't think any of any others off the top of my head right now. Um, bar mergers actually work well uh, as, as well. Pretty small ones, little blue wings here and there. I uh, haven't seen any blue wings pop in today on the surface, but but uh, some days there there's a bunch and some days there's, there's none. Um, otherwise, it's it's uh, definitely a midge fest. Um, I've been using Black Beauties, Wands Pale Ale Midge, uh, Blood Midges, um, let's see what else, RS2s, Rainbow Warriors, Black and Pearl, uh, Bling Midges, ooh, Bling Midges in Cream, Black and Olive. Uh, all of those flies have been doing pretty well for me. Crystal Midges, if, if uh, you're starting to see some, some fish getting active, uh, feeding in under the surface in the water column, uh, Crystal Midge, uh, and then an RS2 as well, either gray or black. Uh, everything size anywhere from 20 to 24 has been, has been uh, pretty effective. Uh, I'm also seeing from time to time, uh, or in certain areas down here, uh, seeing some spawning fish or at least some reds. Uh, so, so an egg is certainly not a bad idea as well. You can you can try out an egg and and uh, definitely makes for a good attractor. Uh, I was using when the water was a little bit higher. I was using olive leeches and they were they were just picking up fish left and right. But uh, but it seems you know the water's gotten a little lower. It's gotten a little clearer. So. Uh, kind of have to downsize everything. I think the leech, I was, I was sight fishing to a few fish earlier and, uh, the leech I think is just spooking them. You, I'd make my cast, make a, make a nice upstream cast and, and give it to get down so it's not spooking fit the fish. And uh, as soon as the flies get in range, they, they take off. So I think, I think the bigger flies are definitely spooking fish. So you want to make sure you're downsizing everything. Um, so that's pretty much it, uh, down here in Pueblo. Uh, it's been fishing really well. From time to time, the crowds have been pretty nasty, uh, so so do be aware of that. Especially if you come on a weekend, uh, the crowds are, are are pretty heavy. So uh, just just uh, you know, be aware of that if you're coming out. Uh, kind of a word uh, on etiquette. Uh, <laughs> I had some guys do this to me today. Um, there's there's nobody, and today just happens to be a great day. No no one out, but. But uh, there was no one up or downstream of me as far as I could see. And these two guys tried to hop in in, in the run that I was in, uh, right at the top end. So, so you know, if, if you do come down, try to give people space if you can. There's a lot of water down here. I know people do like to, they have holes that they like to fish. And, and uh, some of the guys that come down here are definitely very uh, protective of their holes, very possessive of them. Um, but but if you if you come down and you have an idea of where you want to fish and someone's in it Just move on uh, or if it's super crowded talk to someone and say, you know Ask if you mind if they mind if you fish there or not 
uh, either above or below. If they say no, you just say thanks and and move on. Don't uh, don't definitely don't start any fights over it. But uh, but you know just be aware that it's crowd. It can be crowded, and uh, just be polite and and uh, make sure everyone's getting along. Um, so same thing goes pretty much anywhere right now. Um, if you're going to Decker's, that's the other place I've been recently. Um, the the fishable water is is somewhat limited. Uh, you know, uh, when you get the nice days, there's there, you're not going to have problems with slush up there. But but uh, I was there just uh, two days ago, and and uh, we were not slush free until almost noon. Uh, so if you're going out there, especially if it was cold the night before, keep in mind it definitely gets colder down down in that valley than than anywhere else around it. Uh, you know, if you're coming in from from uh, the Denver side around Pine, it's going to be a lot warmer than it's going to be down in Deckers. Uh, and, and from the Colorado Springs side, which is where I come from, is uh, Woodland Park is going to be warmer. So be aware of that. I showed up the other day. It was it was in the teens in Woodland Park and, and down in Deckers. It was too below. Uh, so the, the, the uh, slush has definitely been a problem. Lots of anchor ice. Once that anchor ice lets free and all that slush clears, um, <laughs> then the fishing's been... It's been okay, you know. It, it's not. It's not. Uh, you're not going to pick up 20, 30 fish, but, but uh, you know, you can definitely find some fish. Uh, scuds. Uh, once that anchor ice starts releasing, it it really kind of scours the bottom and and gets some of those scuds uh, knocked out of there. Um, I've been using an orange Dorsey's UV scud, uh, size 16. That's been doing really well. It also doubles as an egg, uh, so it kind of does double duty. Um, some days when that when the slush is really bad and it and as it clears it, it creates um, kind of some muddy water. Worms have been working really well in those cases as well. Not as much anymore. Uh, you know, the, now that the water's it's gotten a lot colder uh, than it than it has been just because we've hit that cold part of the winter. Um, they're they're definitely keying in on smaller stuff. Uh, the other day, my by far my number one fly was a size 22 Black Beauty. Uh, they're just eating lots of midge larvae and pupa right now. Uh, once I saw some fish getting active, I, I moved over to a uh, size 22 Rainbow Warrior and a uh, Crystal Midge, and, and we, were, we were hooking up with fish on those. You know, we were using tiny flies, 20s, 22, 24. Uh, I was going 24 on that Crystal Midge, and, and it's just tough to hang on to those fish, but uh, but they're definitely eating eating that stuff and, and doing... Uh, you know, you can do okay. You know, if you're if you're picking up a couple fish in the winter time, you know, even even just just literally a couple, one or two fish, you know, I, I consider that a good day. And of course, you're you're out on the water. So any day you're out on the water is <laughs> what more do you need? So anyway, uh, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna try to do um, this year. I'm gonna try to do a, a fishing report at least once a month. Last year I was a little behind on that just because uh, we fish we fish private water so much now uh, the the landscape of, of our business has changed so much that that we do tons and tons of private water uh, people want to get away from the crowds on public water which you know I, I don't blame them um, but I, I don't have the as much information on public water as I always do or as I usually do so and I don't want to put out a report that's not that's not accurate so um, I'm going to try to do, like I said, at least once a, once a month. That's kind of my New Year's resolution. Uh, do at least once a month and maybe a little more if, if I'm seeing uh, changes in, in the fishing conditions and so forth. So anyway, uh, that's that's my report for now. And, uh, you know, follow us uh, at 5280angler.com. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. You can follow me, Jeremy Hamilton Fly Fishing. And I'll see you out there.